What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Compound today for Mr. Rhino. Rhino, you requested this one, so we're talking about it for you. From this low on September September 11th to this high on September 30th, we have uh, come down. We found support at the 61.8% retracement mark, the golden ratio itself. We've actually been hugging this line for basically the past week. We might have a positive reaction off it, we might not. You know, there's not really a whole lot of volume, which is fine. If we were to find a bottom here, that's a higher low. If we went down to the 786 or the 886, whatever, it's still a higher low compared to this low here. Um, I would expect this line to hold. You know, our daily RSI, it doesn't look all that good necessarily, but there are things that are good about it, right? Holding holding support on the 40, the staying out of the bearish area of control is nice. Having these like higher lows come in with these higher highs, that's nice too. Um, just get above, you know, start start generating some strength, start having the price move up, get a day that can close above here, above uh, 44, 34, we're sitting at about 41 right now, and then, you know, things will look a lot more convincing to the upside. Right now, I'd say it's kind of iffy one way or another. My gut's telling me to the upside, but, um, you know, I'm pretty heavily invested in this thing too, so maybe it's my bias. But, uh, long story short, guys, you know, I, I do think that it's going up from here. That is my, my bias, my opinion. Um, you know, being at the 618, again, that's that's kind of a common area to find a low at, especially with how how it looks, you know. Like this stopping. Sorry. Thought I heard something. Anyways, uh, <laughs> holding this line like this would really indicate that we are like done you know we haven't gone we're, we're not going to go any lower and if we do we'd find support somewhere in the 786 or the 886 so let's talk about that actually let's talk about what happens if we were to go down is this an area that we could find support somewhere around here well you know we've found support here once before twice before even triple bottoms aren't that common but you know it could happen and and the fact that we've held this uh, 618 like this i would very much not believe that we see extensions to the 1618 or the 1272. Personally, I, I wouldn't expect that. So um, with that look alone, if we pump it out to the weekly and we go from this low to this high, you can see that we also found support on the 618 zone, hugging it and then had a positive reaction away from it. Now the thing is, is we could go a little bit lower from this perspective and maybe go to that 618 or the 69 area here, find support in that range again. And I mean, it's overall, it's the same, it's the same thing as this uh, 786, right? If we're looking at this daily again from the low on September 11th to the high on September 30th, remember? Um, the 618, or no, the 786, which again would be if, if you broke through this level um, where we would likely go, that's actually right by the 618 of this kind of overall uh, FIB, this greater FIB. And I know there's a lot of lines on here, but this, there's also like support here in price, support here in price, a little bit of resistance, support, support in this area, right? It's somewhat significant, um, especially in relative time. So if we do go lower, I wouldn't think that this thing goes too much lower than like $37. Um, maybe $36 at like the absolute lowest. But from there, we would probably go up unless we're going up now. And if we go up now again, kind of what I was saying in the beginning, you'd want to see this daily close above 44.34. Anything below that and it's just a lower high really, right? And then we can talk about going lower. So um, high to low here. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Getting above that 382 would also be nice. So if you want kind of like a, if if you if you want more steps, I guess <laughs> this 382 closing above this day here at 43 and a half dollars would also be pretty significant um, for continuation within this relative fib. So look for that. Look for that. Um, I think closing above 44 dollars and 34 cents would really be significant. You know, it's not only just like this closing high here, but it's a previous area of resistance, previous area of resistance. You know, you're held down by it a little bit here, even support right there. Um, support, 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 support. So I, I think closing above that line, this top line here, would really be um, nice to see. And then we can talk about going higher. Um, but I don't know. You know, as far as that goes, I think I've said everything I want to say. 
We could go lower if we go lower, probably down to like $36 at the most from here. But I'm starting to lean toward the fact that, that we're, we're done going lower. We have higher lows coming in. Let's get this higher high going. On the daily, yes, the RSI doesn't look necessarily too good. But bouncing off of that 40, having a lower high, right, if we're to draw a line, if you were to like draw this and see that it's got like a descending trend line in here, you have an ascending trend line in your lows. And even if it's not from there, it's from here, like whatever, however you want to want to take it. Um, ascending lows versus descending lows would be hidden bullish divergence. And that would that would mark continuation to the upside. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. For now, I'm bullish, but that can change quickly. You know, if, if uh, we're going to set a line up here for the bullish case scenario, let's set a line down here for the bearish case scenario. I'd say this low right here. Yeah. That looks, that looks fine to me. Yep, previous area of support, support as well. Somewhat significant down there at about $38. Oh, man. And I was saying that I don't think we're going to break 37 or 36 Maybe that goes out the window too. Things start to look bearish here, but I would say like based on this FIB, closing below your 786 would not look good. Your 886 especially not good. So, yeah, I guess those would be your last-ditch efforts. But I think I think holding this white line would really be important. And I don't know, man. I really just don't even think we're going to go down there. But but it's possible. It is possible. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. I am bullish on Compound. I know that all that was kind of a ramble, but but that's what I got for you. So take care. Oh, yeah. If you if you stayed, if, if anybody stayed to watch these last few seconds, I wanted to show this and I forgot. Um, we broke out. We broke out. A little bit, right? Not a lot of volume. I'd like to see more volume coming in. But uh, it looks looks like we're kind of breaking out of this zone, right? We, Yeah. Anyways, um, haven't we seen this before? Where you have a big move, you're bleeding down, and then you have dying volume. Haven't we seen that? Haven't we seen that? I think we have where you're having your big move and you're bleeding up and volume's dying, right? And you flip the script, right, right? It's like the inverse, right? Big move, bleeding down instead of bleeding up, volume dying, flip the script. I don't know, man. Bullish, definitely bullish, I think, but not not officially bullish, I guess, until we close above uh, that day there. So, again, leaving on that note. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.